Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to actually define a time history response from a downloaded peer ground motion. So here I already have some peer ground motion downloaded, so I'm gonna attach one of them or define one of them to the uh, model. So this is the peer ground motion you can see in a notepad, but when you, when you open in a uh, uh, it have so there will be a word path so here is some information for the uh, time history record and you can see PUNGA and strong motion database record could be job on this year and this is the name of that exact place acceleration time is series is in G ground ground and the number of the total number of point is 1000 uh, 40000 and uh, uh, step time between each record point is 0 0.1 second and you can put so you can uh, put your cursor here and see here is line 5 uh, and the uh, record will read like this like this uh, row row by row so we close this we go back to the uh, etaps and we go to the define here in the function we're gonna time history function from here we just select from file and we're gonna add new function and go to browse and that place after you put the, uh, that format you will not see anything so what you're gonna do is you can change this one so either to escape you can come here and you see you must skip this either part so one two three four so then should be four should be skip and that's it and uh, then the program will ask you how many line or how many numbers in each row or column so it's one two three four five this one row five uh, five point and uh, so we close this one and we want to escape five and it's automatically it changed and uh, we should give the time interval is between each step is 0 0.1 second and this no need is the number of point is five and you can see here now uh, we have created this you can keep this name or you want to change as you wish so okay and remember the um, the other thing the unit is g so okay and when you go to the define uh, load cases so when you define a um, time history time history and you can see uh oh, it's in 100 uh, imperial value of this thing so now add and use acceleration this is u1 and that was rs 100 1100 now the scale factor that you can change the scale factor base in case if you model this one as a meter so then you point 9.8 9.81 or 10 if you use on a meter that change it to or if you use full fit the other uh, units so then you can change it and then let's give the uh, number of time steps so it has uh, 1000 40000 it's quite large and you can give uh, 40 thousand and give 0 0.1 second and this is meter 9.8 and then you can okay so a new model is created so like this then you can uh, perform the nonlinear or uh, linear model time history analysis so that's all for this tutorial